Sports fans, and welcome to Super Bowl 101, a very special Super Bowl edition of Scott Sports 101. And the big day has finally arrived, Super Bowl 54, the uh, San Francisco 49ers and the uh, Kansas City Chiefs will uh, square off at 6.30 this evening <coughs> at uh, Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida, and I'm going to be uh, continuously podcasting leading up to kickoff of Super Bowl 54. And right now, uh, we will break down the game. I'm going to uh, give my thoughts, and I will give my pick just before kickoff in the last uh, continuous podcast. But right now, uh, we're going to break down the game after I give you uh, the first segment. We're going to have trivia questions all throughout this podcast. And this first segment, here's the trivia question for this one. Uh, for this first segment, in segment number one. What player was knocked out cold in Super Bowl One? I? I will have the answer later in, in this first podcast. Well, the big day uh, and the big game has finally arrived. Super Bowl 54, as I said, at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida. The San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs will battle in what I feel will... Uh, I feel on a lot of fans feel will be a very close and intense game. The 49ers are 1.5 favorites to win the big game, and the Chiefs are 1.5 underdogs to win today's big game. And and uh, this is really going to be one of those games where it could come down to the wire. Uh, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes is one of the top-rated quarterbacks in the NFL right now. Uh, now, fans want 49ers QB to have a brilliant game as as well, as well as Project Mahomes. Now, Garoppolo is a great quarterback, and he's a, a lot more than that. And he looked sh- But he looked shaky against the Vikings when they played them and was not asked to do much against the Packers in the NFC Championship game two weeks ago. Now, now meanwhile... Uh, uh, Mahomes is the best player in the league. Uh, sorry, Lamar Jackson. Uh, uh, this is a quarterback. Is a quarterback league, and and uh, fans and, and I'm keeping this this simple and uh, and picking the better one. And I really feel I want I, I feel a lot of fans feel would like to see the Chiefs do this and to really win this because they have not won one in 50 years. And uh, now Patrick Mahomes is really. Uh, he has been averaging three, four touchdowns a game and uh, 45.8 uh, yards rushing a game. And uh, and he has really, uh, really gotten his game up. And uh, there's a big games where he has struggled, but uh, for the most part, he's been just really dominant this season, uh, especially uh, the comeback against uh, – uh, the Houston Texans uh, in the uh, NFC a, a, a couple of weeks ago, and in the victory against Tennessee in the in the AFC Championship game, fans are wanting a shootout so badly, and with an insanely high score that I have a hunch will happen. And I want to, uh, and I want Jimmy G to have a brilliant game where he is ends up throwing uh, the ball better than he has all season. And we want to see both the 49ers uh, defense and the Chiefs defense really collide in this game today. So uh, I think this is really going to be one of those games where it's going to be really highly intense. And if you believe uh, the betting line, because a lot of you are betting on this game today, is a sign of what it, of what to expect on uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Well, then Super Bowl 54 between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers could be an all-time classic, and a lot of people are really expecting it to be an all-time classic. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 MVP, leads a high-powered offense that can strike with uh, quickness and uh, uh, quickness uh, uh, for DeLance and uh, with equally as as much Vernon, uh, Vernon led by rookie f- uh, phenomenon Nick Bosa and veterans like Armstead, uh, like uh, Armstead and uh, uh, T- uh, 
Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill. However, the 49ers' pass rush is relentless. Uh, uh, Mongoose backed up uh, a snake charmer and a uh, in a resequent uh, Richard Sherman, who was the uh, uh, offensive coordinator, and he really came up with that. Now, something has got to give when these two teams clash, and even the uh, odds maker in Vegas are having a hard time sorting out who will emerge victorious in Miami on, today on February 2nd. Following the conclusion of both uh, conference championship games, the odds for Super Bowl 54 uh, opened nearly as close to uh, pick them as you can get without actually labeling it. One with the uh, Chiefs carrying a razor's edge over uh, the 49ers per Westgate uh, Superbook via Sportsline. And you can go online and check that out. And as the uh, big game nears, we'll keep you updated on any changes and and odds, o and odds overall spread. So be sure to uh, bookmark this uh, the, this article that I saw. So you can bookmark it that I just read and check back frequently, very uh, often, because I'll let you know. Uh, the Chiefs are uh, the conscientious favor to win as. The things that changed. I now Chiefs are favored by 1.5. I did say 49ers, but it did change the Chiefs being favored as 1.5 favorites. Uh, and uh, to win, but barely. Now this they opened as just one point favorites. Favorites. Uh, check out uh, update odds at, at sportsline.com. Check that out. Uh, Kansas City got to the Super Bowl by coming back. To beat the Tennessee Titans 35 to 24 in the AFC Championship, and it was their second conference title game in as many uh, seasons. It was also the second straight come from behind victory, Kansas City overcoming a 24 point deficit against uh, the Houston Texans, as I mentioned the week before. The 49ers made their way to the Super Bowl by beating the Green Bay uh, uh, Packers. In the NFC Championship game, and beating the Minnesota Vikings uh, the week before, and uh, the they struggled against the Vikings, but they can't, can't emerge victory. But they just they looked a little shaky, even though Minnesota did not look good, and uh, but they dominated against the Packers, and they they really made their way, and just just they emerged victory in that. And just, Green Bay just could not, they tried to come back, but just couldn't do it. Now, the big question is, is on the, as on everybody's mind, is which, is which, who will score on their very first drive? Now, I am not, I don't think either team is going to score on their first drive, but I think San Francisco uh, will win the coin toss, but, uh, and they will, I don't think they're going to receive it. They're going to, uh, Start out with the ball, and then, uh, but I don't think uh, either team is going to score in their first drive, and I think uh, the uh, Jimmy Garoppolo will pass it to uh, uh, to uh, one of the offensive guys, and uh, and uh, I think, but uh, I think they'll uh, they'll get the ball. Midway, just past midway across the field, but I don't think they'll score, and I think it'll go three and out, and then KC will have it. But I don't. I think Mahomes will pass to uh, 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 Travis Kelsey, but I don't think they'll score. And then, but I think I do think, but Kansas City will score when they get the ball the second time in the first quarter. On their first, which will be the second drive, but the first uh, time drive, they will jump out to the early lead. But it'll be a close game, I think. And the media sources say, and I agree that neither team will score in their first drive. I don't think either team will. Now the Chiefs need to become more balanced against the 49ers on Sunday, especially against the 49ers' rushing game. Besides their rushing game, and all 
all Chiefs fans and so many other fans are behind the leading quarterback, Patrick Mahomes II, who was amazing. Mahomes and the Chiefs offense need to establish a good running and pass game against the 49ers offense and their defense. But they've got to they've got to really uh, keep the 49ers uh, uh, from scoring, and they've got to keep the attack on them. They've got to uh, really dominate them, and they've got to gain. They've got to attack the 49ers offense and defense, and they've got to make the plays that they need to. And the penalties need to be few and far between. And uh, that's what the Chiefs need to do if they really want it. And they they they're going to be fired up today. They're going to want it even more. The 49ers are going to want it even though they haven't won in 25 years, but the Chiefs are going to want it a whole lot more. Now, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo was sharp throughout the throughout every contest during the regular season and throughout the uh, NFL playoffs. Uh, but when looking at Mahomes' stats, uh, you think that the two uh, quarterbacks uh, uh uh, and have pretty much similar outings in both the regular season and in the playoffs. I feel Sammy Watkins. Uh, I feel well. I feel will score the Chiefs' first touchdown of the game, and will rush for eight, eighty-five point five yards, nearing a hundred yards. And some media feel that Sammy Watkins will be the MVP of uh, of the Super Bowl, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. The 49ers know. Uh, the Chiefs' offense and the Chiefs' defense, and they know they need to make every effort to attack the Chiefs early in this game and keep Mahomes on his toes. And the Chiefs uh, and, and the Chiefs have to do the exact same thing in the game. Uh, I'm going to come back to this in just a sec. Right now, I want to take an opportunity, and I want to reveal the answer to this to the uh, first Super Bowl trivia question in segment one. Uh, uh, what player was knocked out cold in Super Bowl one? If you said Fred the Hammer Williamson, you are correct. And the week prior to the game, Chiefs quarterback Fred the Hammer Williamson uh, generated, uh, uh, Garner, excuse me, uh, considerable publicity by boasting uh, by boasting, he would use his hammer forearm uh, blow to the head to destroy the Packers receivers. Ironically, it was Williamson himself who was knocked out cold and carried out the field on a stretcher near the end of the game. And I will have a, uh, a trivia question in the second segment, so stay tuned for uh, that. Now, uh, the, uh, I feel the game between the Chiefs and 49ers uh, is going to be extremely close, and I feel it's going to come down to a last-second field goal to see who emerges victorious and wins. Uh, so we will see what happens. I will have more break on it uh, in the final podcast leading up to the kickoff. Uh, but we are almost out of time for this uh, first segment. And uh, now in uh, this coming up in uh, uh, the second segment, we will take a look back at Super Bowl IV, which is the last time the Chiefs won the Super Bowl the 1969-1970 season 50 years ago. And that will be coming up in segment number two. So, uh, we have got about 45 seconds left to go in this segment. So, I'm gonna, we're gonna take a break and I'm gonna have this, this first segment uploaded for you. And you can watch it on YouTube on my YouTube channel, Scott Sports 101. So, I will be back with seg segment number two after I've upload, uploaded the first segment. So, uh, stay tuned. We'll be back. <laughs> 